Hi everybody, I'm Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com and today we're going to be talking about several different things that include hand dyed yarn for handmade toys, we're going to be talking about crafty gifts all the way from Holland, and last but not least we are going to talk about a brand new crochet along from Crochet to Play. It is her nativity crochet along that I'm going to really try to participate in and there is Olive right here. Let's go ahead and get started. I really hope that you are going to enjoy this episode today. When Janet from Timber Creek Farm reached out to me to see if I wanted to try her brand new 100% hand dyed wool, I said, uh, yeah, I would love to try that. I have been following Janet for a while on her Instagram account. She is like a real farmer, and I don't mean she's got like three chickens and calls herself a farmer. I mean, this is a legitimate farm. She has all kinds of animals, and one of the things that she does is she raises sheep, and then she takes their fleece, and and she has it spun and then she dyes it herself which I just think is so amazing. I love keeping up with her on Instagram because she shares all of the crazy adventures and the antics that her animals always seem to be getting into which is really fun and she has beautiful photography so I really enjoy keeping up with her. When I found out that I could actually be knitting with yarn from her very own sheep. Olive you like the yarn? Yes she does. I was really excited to try this yarn and and what I ended up doing, <laughs> Olive, okay, I ended up knitting one of the little cotton rabbits, the teddy bear pattern. I just think he turned out really, really cute. Okay, Olive, let's not play with the mommy's yarn. <laughs> One of the things, there are a few differences though, and I really wanna go over each one of the differences. I think you're really gonna like this yarn. And I think sometimes we think, oh, hand dyed yarn is not affordable. It's too luxurious to actually try to use on toys that maybe a child is going to use. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is some budget friendly hand dyed yarn from a farmer in the United States. I just think this is really amazing. I cannot wait to share all the details, everything I discovered, and what you need to know before you get Get this yarn. I typically use Barocco Vintage Worsted Weight when I am knitting toys from the Little Cotton Rabbits. And so what I noticed about this yarn from Timber Creek Farm is that it worked up a little bit smaller than what I am used to. So that is not a big deal. He is about an inch shorter than the other little toys. And there's Olive crying in the background. Olive, I'll let you out in a minute. One of the things that I had to do because he ended up being so much smaller, I ended up knitting the clothes with the exact same yarn, the Debbie Bliss Baby Cash Merino, but I went down a size in the knitting needle. So I used a 2.5 millimeter set of needles to be able to knit the clothes and that really helped because the clothes actually fit him and I was a little worried they were going to be too big. So I'm glad I went down a size. So if you use this wool to knit the body, make sure to go down a size in your knitting needles. I did the 2.5 millimeter and that will make sure that the clothing fits fits perfectly. I just think he turned out really cute. He's a little bit smaller and I think it's really fun to have different sizes. Now the second difference and it's going to sound like a negative but let me explain because it is definitely not a negative. I actually think it's a positive. This yarn when you first start working with it isn't quite as soft as the yarns I typically use especially the Barocco Vintage. That is a very very soft wool but this is a little bit coarser and one of the things that I found because of that it was easier to shape the face. I find that that is one of the most difficult things with the little cotton rabbits is that if you're not careful your toys end up looking like they have a torpedo head. That is a very difficult thing to try to mold. It's different than when you are crocheting amigurumi. There's not very much shaping that goes into that because when you crochet that really tight fabric with a single crochet you get what you get but that is not the case when you are knitting 
toys because knitting creates a much stretchier fabric. This little face can get really, really stretchy, but what was great about this yarn is that I felt like it held the shape a little bit better. And so as I was trying to get the eyes to dip in a little bit and his ears to really stand up nice and perky and just this snout to be nice and round, I really liked how this yarn worked with that, how it was much easier to get the shape that I really desired. So that is another huge benefit about this yarn. I think you'll see that if you try it for yourself. It really does work up beautifully and the more you work with it, the softer it gets. It's still a soft, this is not like a Brillo pad toy by any stretch of the imagination. It's just not that really, really soft like a toy that is knit with the Barocco vintage. But just know that's not a negative. I actually think it's kind of a positive when it comes to shaping, especially the face part. The other noticeable difference is that this yarn has beautiful stitch definition. That is something that I really, really, really love about this yarn because I've talked about this before. I don't really like to use cotton a whole lot. And here's why. It causes joint issues for me. It causes strain and tension on my elbows and I have struggled with tendonitis. I'm going to leave a link for a video in case you are experiencing any kind of pain with crocheting or knitting. But one of the things that I miss about cotton is that there is a beautiful crisp stitch definition that you don't normally get with 100% wool. Now the ones that I've used in the past like the Barocco Vintage and the Paint Box Wool Mix Aaron, have a little bit of a halo to them which I actually love. I love that halo but this was so much fun to have such a beautiful stitch definition that it's really crisp. You can see the stitches so well and that is a point of pride especially when you've worked really hard and your stitches are pretty good and they're fairly even. It's really nice to be able to see that and I think it just gives a different look. It's a little less fuzzy. He's just kind of a cleaner looking little teddy and I just am thrilled. I love this yarn. I think it is so, so wonderful. I really, really think you're going to like it. I used two different colors for my little teddy bear and these are 100 yard skeins or hanks, whatever you want to call them. And what I found was that I used probably a little bit less than 100 yards total to make my little teddy bear. I'm going to show you exactly what I ended up with left over after I knitted the entire toy. Now this is just for the body. I only use this yarn to knit the body. So this is what I was left over with the darker color and this is the lighter color. So I would say it's probably a little less than 100 yards, but it got pretty close. If you have a little bit looser tension than I do, you may end up using right at 100 yards, maybe even a tad bit more. But if you use two different colors, you're gonna be just fine as far as getting 100 yards for each one of them. Or if you wanna just get the lower yardage for the accent color, that's fine too. For the 100 yards, it's $8 to $8.50 US dollars. But in my opinion, hand dyed yarn for $8.50 is a real bargain. And it is really nice to know that these were sheep that were treated like pets. They are just pampered and loved on. They have names. And to me, that really is very nice. And I know that most of the time I can only really afford to buy yarns that are commercial commercially produced just because the budget only allows for that. But knowing that this yarn is really affordable and she only uses natural botanical dyes, you know that this is safe for your children to play with unless they have a wool allergy. But if you don't have a wool allergy, this is really a wonderful product. I cannot recommend it highly enough. And you're supporting a small farmer. You're supporting Janet. I just really think it's wonderful when we can to support independent farmers, independent yarn dyes, it's a really great thing and also this is great for knitting toys and I'm sure it would equally be as wonderful for crocheting them as well. I've only used hand dyed yarn one other time when making a toy and that is when I designed Magic Kitty here and no I have not written the pattern up. One of these days I'm going to do that but I really wanted to use some beautiful hand dyed yarn. I wanted something a little variegated with her and I found the Hedgehog Fibers yarn and it is spectacular. It is gorgeous. The color Colors are so vibrant, but it is really, really expensive. This was a big splurge for me. This is not something that I would regularly be able to afford to make toys in this yarn, especially if you are going to be selling toys. I do not see that this would be affordable at all. I think it's about $25 for a skein of this yarn, which is a lot in my opinion. So if I was making a beautiful sweater or a cowl or a scarf or mittens that I was going
going to gift to somebody, I would 100% use this yarn. It is 100% wool, it is hand dyed, it's Irish wool. It is gorgeous, but it is extremely expensive. But I do think that the vibrance and the colors, really you can see them here. The hedgehog fibers that I used was their Merino DK. I do think that it is really beautiful. I think a lot of people use it to knit socks and I have not tried that yet. I have never knit a sock yet and it's one of the things that I really, really want to learn how to do. But here's why I'm holding off because what I've seen is a lot of people, once they start knitting socks, they get addicted to it. And I have a feeling <laughs> that I would because I love a quick project and I love all the beautiful yarns that you could use with it. And it just sounds so much fun. I'm holding off for right now, for right now. But anyway, I did want to show you that I have used some other hand dyed yarn and to show you why the Timber Creek Farm wool is a really, really good deal. So now I want to share with you this beautiful gift that I received from my friend Don from the YouTube channel Don's Days. So it was a few weeks ago. I was kind of feeling really down that day because I was just missing my son who recently left for college. And it was just one of those days when 2020 had just, you know, this has not been the most fun year. And I was just feeling it that day. I had to run an errand. I came home and there was a package all the way from Holland. And I thought, I didn't order anything from Holland. What's this? What is this? I didn't know who it was from. The only person I know in Holland it is Dawn, but it just didn't clue into me that it could be from her. But I opened this package up and it was just what I needed. There was a beautiful card and a sweet note from my friend, my Instagram friend, and it just really warmed my heart. She sent me this beautiful project bag that she sewed herself. I am so impressed. The inside is just as beautiful as the outside, which I just think is so marvelous. She also made me a zippered notions pouch and I just love these colors. I love when things are beautifully made and let me just tell you that Dawn underestimates herself way too much. She is a wonderful maker. She's a wonderful seamstress and crocheter and knitter and she also made me and this is what's really crazy. I have never had one of these before in my entire life which is actually kind of crazy. She made me a beautiful little pin cushion which she has a tutorial for how to make on her YouTube channel and I'm actually going to use this because I don't have one number one and number two I'm going to start using handmade things I'm making a promise to myself that I'm going to start using them and not just saving them for someday she also sent me the most delicious bar of chocolate it was so good I did share a little bit with my family but I ate most of it so I just want to thank my friend Dawn thank you so much from the bottom of my heart it was just what I needed when I needed it and I'm going to leave a link for her channel and her Etsy shop in the description box below last but certainly not least I want to share a brand new crochet along from crochet to play it is a Christmas crochet along so I know it's only September and we're already talking about Christmas but we really need to if you want to get this project done by Christmas which is my goal this is Jennifer's nativity set it has been on my to-do list for quite some time now and this is the perfect time to do it the crochet along is actually set to begin September 27th but she's going to have a sale on the pattern until the 26th there's a 20% off code for Etsy as well as Ravelry. I'm going to leave those codes in the description box below with the link to both of the patterns. So in case you want to buy one there, there is also a private Facebook group for all of those who are joining in. And let me just tell you, there's hundreds of people already in this group. There's so many people who are making this nativity set and I'm really excited to do this. I'm hoping that it's going to help me be accountable. I have loved this pattern for so long. It is just so such a precious nativity set. I love all the little figures and the animals and the baby Jesus. I just think it's really sweet and I've wanted to crochet something like this so that someday I'm not there yet but one of these days I'm gonna have grandkids and I would love to have a little crocheted set so that they could play with. My kids used to play with the nativity set when they were little and act out the little story from when Jesus was born and it would just always made Christmas Eve a really special thing in our home. This is something Thing that I hope I'm going to finish. But even if I don't finish, even if I only get 50% of the way, that's better than not getting it done at all. Join me in this crochet along. It's going to be really a lot of fun. And I think it's going to help us all get into that Christmas spirit. The links are going to be in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for stopping by the Le Petit Saint Crochet YouTube channel today. Thank you for spending 
a little bit of time with me today. I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button and that subscribe button. Thank you for hanging in with me this week as I kind of rambled about a few different things. I hope that you enjoyed our time together. I like to think of it as we're just sitting down with a cup of coffee. Actually, I don't really drink coffee, but I drink tea. I love hot tea. That we're sitting down with our beverages of choice and that we're just talking about our crafty adventures and all the things that we love. I hope that you feel that as well. As always, I'm going to see you guys next week. I've got a few other videos in case you would like to watch them and be safe out there and hope to see you soon. Happy stitching!